good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you to Savo Watch Channel. Here is Alexander Sudorev, and today we will talk about the processes that take place at the construction site. Right behind me, you can see a truck that has already unloaded the chiller. This tells us that our foundry is even more complete and that we will soon be able to get it up and running. And of course, install the equipment. There is also a fair amount of work going on with off-site communications. We start with the area outside the site, where we dug the trench and laid the water supply. The asphalt has been repaired now, as you have already seen in our video reports, and yesterday we marked the parking lot. That was there before. So, this issue is already closed as well. This is very good, because we have fulfilled the obligations we undertook in relation to the special economic zone. Now the site is being completely dug up. On the left side and on the right side, the communications have already been laid for the most part. Now the plate of the temporary road in front of the main entrance to the building have been removed in order to loop the system and make the final connection. And on the left side of the building, you can see the wells that have been put in place. The finishing concrete is coming down, so that's all finishing up. You can hear people talking nearby, that's normal, it's a construction site. What else can be said about the utilities on the left side of the building? First of all, grounding and lighting protection are being prepared. And the entry point for the telecommunications networks, particularly the Internet, has already been chosen. That is, a fiber optic cable will be laid. And very importantly, this task was also optimized, and the length of the cable was reduced by approximately 250 meters. Accordingly, in monetary terms, this will allow us to save money and allocate it to more important tasks. In addition, the construction camp is now being relocated. Some of the trailers have already been removed, and some have been relocated. In the near future, the construction headquarters from where all the operational management is done, will be moved inside the building of the Design and Technological Bureau, where special rooms have been prepared, desks are set, and workplaces are being created. We talked about it before, but now it is just around the corner. I would also like to say a few words about the events that are planned in the project. We were preparing to participate in the Army 2023 International Forum. We took part in the Army 2022 Forum. To my mind, that was a fairly successful event, because we demonstrated important products, won prizes, and showed the world the uniqueness of the Slavyanka technology of combined windings, as well as what we can produce at our facilities. The event was really successful. This year we prepared no less interesting exhibits, but you can now see for yourself the amount of work we have to do on the construction site. Therefore, in order to reduce costs, it was decided not to participate in Army 23 this year. Inside the building, the main gallery of the production area was cleared out in order to put the lift equipment there that was previously brought to the site. Now some of that equipment has already been moved into the building. Tomorrow it is planned to call a manipulator to the site to complete the relocation work. In parallel, doors have also arrived at the site. The installation of the doors will continue and that will allow us to separate some more rooms to start installing the equipment. At the same time, the laboratory is being set up. The laser equipment is being adjusted, and some of it is already working. We are working on special equipment for the production of motors. That is, we are building our own machines, and the design engineers continue to work on this. It is also important that finishing works are still going on. The installation of interior partitions will soon be completed. In the administration and utility building, all the permanent structures are already installed, and the plasterboard 
you see on the ground floor of the administration building will be moved to the mezzanine on the first floor, which is closer to the ramp group. So that's the back of the building. Once these partitions are installed, we can say that the work is complete. We are also finishing the stairs. It's a very big job. First, because there are a lot of stairs in the building, and second, the walls had to be plastered and leveled. You can see that one stairwell is almost completely finished. The finishing work is almost complete. And we are laying tiles, putting and preparing for touch-up painting. Another staircase, which you can see on the screen, is also plastered and leveled. And now the work on the other staircases will continue. Let's talk about the lift shafts. The lift shafts are also being prepared for the installation of lifts. Just a reminder that we will have four lifts and we are waiting for a crew to install the equipment. It will happen in the near future. Let me remind you why it is so important at this time. The fact is that in order to get on with the floor on the second floor of the production part of the building and on the first and second floors of the administrative building, including the mezzanine, we need to lift quite a lot of heavy materials and quite a lot of them. It is wood, flooring, tie-downs, some kind of coating, depending on the room. And in order to save money and reduce the cost of lifting these materials, we will do it with one of the lifts. There's some work requires the fulfillment of other work, and this mechanism, or even more likely the organism, lives and develops, it breathes, it is already coming to a conclusion, to the commissioning of the building and the launch of the production part, pilot production, the creation of machines and equipment, the development of motors and so on. Thank you for your attention, make sure to follow us on social networks and subscribe to our resources. See you soon!